What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Fat Zebra HD. I'm back in another video. In today's video, uh, we have some drama. <laughs> we have Jeremy versus Adopt Me. Now, this is some big drama, big things going on. Two big, big, big people. You know, Adopt Me as a whole. I know they have a lot of people on Adopt Me staff. It's a big game, the biggest game on Roblox. It's been the biggest game for a, a long time. And we have Jeremy, a huge YouTuber with over 1.6 million subscribers. Now, from what I know, Adopt Me always just bans Jeremy. And Jeremy has like, you know, beef back and forth with Adopt Me. Like, I, I know this. Like, I already know this. Um, I want to watch the video. I, I've already watched it the first time. But I want to watch it again and really analyze it um, a bit with y'all. And I just want to give y'all my thoughts. I know my thoughts probably won't matter. Some people probably won't, don't even care. But I just want to give y'all my thoughts as a adult. <laughs> because this is all kind of childish to me. Like, it's all childish. Like, Adami, come on. You didn't have to make an exposed video on the man. You didn't have to expose him. What is this? The truth about Jeremy? You didn't have to expose him. <laughs> like... Whatever, we're gonna we're gonna hop into it. Let me just see what this is about. I'm gonna try to skip through a lot of it, but we're gonna get the main points. I I'm guess. one of the 30 people who work on Adopt Me. This is 30 people work on Adopt Me. 30. That's a lot. 30 versus one. Well, then again, he has over 1.6 million subscribers. So technically, Adopt Me is in the the um, handicap right here. But anyway, let's let's see. It's my statement about the YouTuber Jeremy. Who has made several videos attacking me hey. this, this is an exposed video okay this is really an exposed video look at the title of the video it's an exposed video adopt me you put this on your main channel you don't have to do this like you could just ban him and then y'all keep on going with your day you don't have to make an exposed video on the man come on now he's gonna make an exposed video back and it's gonna be back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until someone stops and it's gonna be a whole feud a whole feud. You're gonna lose people on Adopt Me, lose subscribers, have people hate y'all, and so will him. So will him. Because I don't think that nothing's gonna happen to him. Because he's not in the right either. Y'all both are wrong in your own right. Wait, that made no sense. Y'all both are wrong, okay? <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Jeremy and welcome back to another Roblox Adopt Me video. I didn't want to have to make this statement, but Jeremy put you didn't want to have to make this statement. Then don't make it! Don't make it! This is kind of rude! <laughs> posted another video attacking me, and my inbox is filling with hateful messages yet again. Okay. Here is the truth. I blocked Jeremy on my personal Twitter account in February because we discovered evidence that Jeremy had been buying in-game items for real money. For but you didn't have to block him, though. Like, you didn't have to block him for that. Breaking Roblox rules and our own terms of service. Jeremy had inventories filled full of rare items he would do giveaways with to grow his channel. Like all YouTubers. Before we get into it, let's do this uh, candy cannon thing where we give away some candy cannons. As you guys know by now, this is the rarest item in the whole of Adopt Me. And I'm giving out over a hundred of these. Uh, is it the rarest item? I don't know. Pretty cool though. I don't, th I don't think I've ever seen one before. Hmm. Let's have a look. I had 150 the other day. Someone can go. 150 go through this video and pause it to see how many we have left now and they were 2500 2000 robux each in october 2018 okay and now they have like so there were 2000 each in robux that's a lot that's like 20 20 plus dollars a street price of like 40 to 50 USD. A street price of like 40 to 50 USD. 40 to 50 USD. 40 to 50 USD. Buying or I get it. It's worth 40 to 50 USD. You didn't have to spam it three times. We get it. <laughs> Selling Adopt Me items for real money, Robux, or cross trades is against our terms of. Okay, just because he knows his prices does not mean anything. Every game has prices. There's rare items in every single game. It's worth something, especially if you can trade it. It's worth something. Don't, don't enable trades if you don't, if you don't want people to buy stuff, sell stuff for real money. You can go on Fiverr right now and people are selling items all on here. All on here, selling items, selling, raising, selling, selling, raising. Don't enable trading them. 
Because Adami's nickname is is Scam Simulator. Remember that. But Scam Simulator, drop me. These are the names they give your game. You should have me on your on payroll. I can really make this game amazing. It's already amazing, but I have ideas. Adopt me. I love you, by the way. I, lo I love your game. Don't think I hate your game. I love, I love your game. I'm not even a fan of Jeremy. I'm just stating some facts. We discovered Jeremy had made many item purchases from their account. How do you know this? So you found a seller who sold stuff to Jeremy. And then you think, you know what? We'll just ban him. A huge YouTuber. You're just going to ban him for buying items to, to keep promoting your amazing game. I don't think you should have banned him. I think you should just at least tell him to stop. Did you, did you at least warn him? Did y'all at least warn him? Like, at least give him a chance. When we found out, we were shocked and angry. I blocked Jeremy on Discord and on my personal Twitter account. You blocked him on Discord? <laughs> You're rude. That's funny, though. I like that. I like that energy. <laughs> I blocked him on Discord. I wanted nothing more to do with him. After he continued to message members of the team and tag the Adopt Me Twitter, our social media manager chose to block him there too. We are a united team of people. Okay. Okay, so teams... Y'all are a team. Y'all stick together. Y'all, you know, if one person blocks somebody, I'll block them. Okay, okay. Roblox has banned Jeremy multiple times so far, and he made videos claiming he had no idea why he was banned. When why he was banned by Roblox the first time over Christmas, I took time out of my spending time with my family, uh, to reach out to Roblox on his behalf, and we helped write. He took time out of hanging out with his family to message you. I don't make your life better than his. You didn't have to mention that. Special code, which helped him recover some of his lost items. We did this because, like you, we trusted Jeremy when he said that he didn't know why he was banned. Now we feel stupid. We feel like <laughs> <and laughs> now we feel stupid. <laughs> I love Adopt Me. They're funny. This isn't the only bad thing Jeremy has done. In February, Jeremy posted a video. In this video and in tweets, he insulted the Adopt Me team and our work and the value of our community, resulting in hate. Okay, unpopular opinion. Adopt Me sucks. These days, it feels like we're all puppets to make you guys more Robux. And the updates reflect that. You just like your YouTubers and manipulate your child audience into putting money into your greasy pockets. I have no comment. I don't really play Adopt Me like that. I do like Adopt Me. I know a lot of Adopt Me YouTubers have quit Adopt Me for certain reasons. I'm not gonna say why. Um, like, like one of my good friends, Lady Avocado. But yeah, I understand. I understand. I get where you come from, Jeremy. Four messages being sent to team members. After a few days, he unquit Adopt Me, uh, but never- He unquit Adopt Me, of course. Of course. See, see the views he's getting from Adami? Hey, your game is your game is popular. I wish I could do that, but I can't. I can't play one game for that long. I, I get bored there a while. Apologize directly to any of us. Jeremy privately insulted other YouTubers in leaked DMs. If he is this mean and cruel to his peer DMs. Wait a minute. Jeremy's rude. Um, I've met her in person. She was cold and rude to me for no reason. She thinks she's some sort of queen, famous person. It's annoying that she put. Um, on his pedestal. He's just saying that someone was mean to him. How is this him being rude? Somebody was being mean to him. If he is this mean and cruel to his peer, I'm sick of getting roasted while she's getting praised. Uh, while she is a mean girl. Okay, he feel like he's getting bullied. Someone else is getting praised. I don't think that makes him a bad person for saying that. I don't. Here's in this one set of leaked DMs. I wonder how many other private conversations he's being mean and cruel in. Jeremy, so far, has made three videos directly targeting me, each of which has resulted in my inbox being filled with hateful messages, insults, and even racist or homophobic slurs. If okay, that's a little wrong. You have to tell people to, you know, go to his Twitter. That, now, that's wrong, because you have a lot of people, a lot of people on your YouTube. Don't do that. That's actually rude. Jeremy, you're wrong for that. You're super wrong for that. If everyone could go and tweet tactful on twitter at tactful on twitter i would appreciate it so please go to twitter tweet them i want to give out people neon unicorns who tweet them just for helping please head on over don't do that don't give out no unicorns for people helping now you're now you're extra wrong that was wrong if it's a twitter i beg you i beg you tweet at player.me and at tactful and people should help you because they want to help you not because you're gonna give them a prize
and please help me okay please go tweet this at play adopt me at tactful you're telling them what to tweet oh come on jeremy but some reason they keep targeting me and it's really hard because i don't like to see people targeted at tactful on twitter i don't like to see people target <laughs> i don't like to see people targeted you're targeted i don't like to see me targeted that's what you that's what you meant to say i want to give out people neon unicorns who tweet them i don't like to see Neon unicorns? I'm gonna go tweet them. USD, and I just wake up to loads of hate from this guy. Can you think how bad that would feel? Can you think how bad that would feel? At Tactful on Twitter, can you think how bad that would feel? Okay. Hashtag pray for okay. Josh. He needs an exorcism. And it's really scary because these tweets are, um. He needs an exorcism? That was mean. Out of context, and not professional at least. At Tactful on Twitter, we need to get the demons out of him. Get the demons out of him. Oh, he's calling you a demon. So Jeremy thinks you evil. Are you evil? You made an exposed video. You might be. I mean, I know you're not. I know you're not, okay? Don't ban me, Adami. Please don't, please don't, don't ban me, please. I, I enjoy your game sometimes. Sometimes. Adopt me account has blocked me on Twitter. Because of the lies Jeremy tells. In this video released. These are just some of the examples of the lies Jeremy tells. Everyone lies. All YouTubers lie. Even I lie. Zebra, you streaming today? Yeah, yeah, I'll be alive. I'm, I didn't go live. I lie sometimes. Sometimes I'm really busy, though. Everyone lies. Come on. Zebra, can you play my game? Yeah, I'll play your game. And I don't play it. Yeah. In summary, Jeremy bought items for real money, breaking Roblox, and adopt me rules. He wanted the item. It's rare. How else is he going to get it? Was he gonna do a fair trade to lose, to lose some more of his items? No, he wants all the items. I don't think buying items with real money is bad. I don't think so. Of course it's against their rules, but I don't think it's bad at all. If it's a super rare item and you, you started playing the game late, how are you supposed to get the item? How? How? All right then. Now they have like a street price of like 40 to 50 USD. Jeremy insulted the Adopt Me team, the community, and other YouTubers. I feel very sorry for you, man. Hashtag. What other YouTubers have he insulted? Where's the proof? Because what you showed earlier was not proof. He was just literally saying that he got insulted. That's literally it. Pray for Josh. He needs an exorcism. We need to get the demons out of him. Jeremy made free videos that resulted in fans harassing me directly. I that was wrong. Jeremy, you're wrong. I'm not, I'm not on anybody's side, by the way. I'm just saying what's wrong, what's right. I just preach. Tactful on Twitter. I exclusively switched to making Roblox Adopt Me YouTube content, after which his channel views and subscribers increased by a lot. Of course. Shoot, I'm thinking about being an Adopt Me YouTuber. I'm trying to get some money too. We were happy never revealing this information, but I feel like my hand is forced because Jeremy has now made free. Your hand's not forced. Your hand, your hand is not forced. Y'all did not have to block him. You didn't have to ban him. Y'all could have just been friends. I could have just kept it going. Jeremy's literally spending his hard-earned money and putting it back into your game. That's literally what he's doing. He's buying pets. He's helping young adults, not kids, young adults, make money by selling um, stuff from your game. So not only are you stopping people from being able to make some money, because these kids, these kids, they can't get a job. These young adults, they can't get a job. I, wait, I just said they wasn't kids. Yeah, yeah, they can't get, they can't get a job. They can sell stuff on Dami, though. Sell stuff, make some money. They want Robux. Their parents can't always get them Robux. They can earn their own Robux. I'm just saying. You don't have to change the rules. I'm just saying, like, think about it. Three videos targeting me and many more lying about the situation. The Roblox bans were Jeremy's fault. Us blocking him is Jeremy's fault. Even this statement existing is Jeremy's fault. Don't put all the blame on Jeremy. This is really an exposed video. I can't believe it. Adopt me, come on. We were happy for Jeremy to quietly keep making large amounts of money from videos, but instead he harassed, insulted, and lied. Okay, and that sounds fake. Congrats to you. Shout out to Adopt Me. Adopt Me's still growing. Adopt Me's an amazing game. Shout out to Jeremy. Hopefully Jeremy finds his, uh, his new niche. And yeah, that's going to be the end of it, I guess. If you've ever suffered from bullying or harassment, please check the links in the tweet. Whoa, y'all just made an exposed video on my boy.
And you're gonna post the National Bullying Helpline? Okay, y'all are taking it too. Y'all, y'all are some trolls. Y'all are actually, y'all, y'all banned him multiple times, blocked him, made an exposed video, and then you're gonna put this at the end? Y'all are funny. Y'all are, are actually funny. Where we've linked to some resources. No, y'all, y'all are funny. But um, this is gonna be the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, let me know your thoughts. I know this video is kind of weird. I don't usually make videos like this, but if you want more videos like this, let me know. I'll try to keep up to date. Stay, stay ahead of the news. But uh, if y'all want more, just let me know. Um, it's your boy Fazzy Brazy. I'm out. I love y'all, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.